They escaped from Libya and Tunisia and found themselves here. Blocked drains and cramped conditions, the health risks are everywhere. 5,000 migrants have sought temporary refuge on this tiny island. The holding centre has room for less than 1,000. And the officials here admit they're starting to feel the pressure. The number of migrants staying at Lampedusa's maritime centre, where the boats dock, is a problem and it's a social burden for the people of Lampedusa more than anyone else. Lampedusa lies in the Mediterranean Sea, just off the coast of Sicily. It's traditionally been a popular entry point for illegal African immigrants. But as the conflicts in the Arab world force thousands to flee, the welcoming party's over, and they're clearly struggling to clean up the mess. The situation is a bit critical because there are too many and Italy can't support all this. The concern right now is the risk of an epidemic because their conditions of living are certainly inhumane and therefore they are not able to respect usual hygienic standards. There are now more Tunisians living here than locals. Many of the migrants are just passing through Italy to try and reach relatives in France. Others proclaiming they're simply in search of a better life. A Tunisian comes here to, uh, to look for uh, maybe a job <laughs> as uh, Europe, all Europe, you know. Uh, they, uh, they look for democracy, they look for uh, freedom, they look, look for uh, a good life. But the journey is long and so far it hasn't been smooth. Italy has asked other EU countries to help, but until that happens, they're on their own. Anna Holligan, BBC News. Well, let's get more.